So we're just pulling up here to uh, Chester. We're going to see what we can do. We've got a big meeting today. And we're uh, Don't forget, we haven't forgot about the uh, Chester community. So we're going to see what uh, how we can do a little collaboration. You waiting for me? There you are. I said in the press, if we'd have played Southport, um, fundamentally, I think the ref would have gone. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah. Like, and our bit that I think is an harder job than mine is to always, no matter what's going on on the pitch, no matter what's going on in the stands, and it. It. so you think about the crowd trouble we had in the yeah. summer, we were talking about yeah, that pop definitely, yeah. You have to try and manage that message because yeah. fundamentally, you're still fan owned. Definitely. You still, you yeah. still need this so support. Fine line, isn't it? Yeah. But I think it means when people want to come and go, we want to collab, we want to go this way. Yeah. It's either perfect or it'll never or it's work. Because yeah. it has to be aligned with Definitely. the values of the club. Which is, it's a, a site, a brand. You yeah. want to be active, want to do things differently. Slap bang in the middle of the city. In terms of, in terms of content, I think, like you said, with the, the behind the scenes stuff and the uncut stuff, that's exactly the way you want to go because every football club is doing it now yeah. and you are the only people yourself and the players and the manager and whatever you're the only people who can offer an insight inside the club so you need to utilise that because some of the kids who are watching Chester you can wake up he's just a player with the heroes you want to know what they're doing with the bad man you want to know what they're eating I think we forget it because we're within it yeah, yeah exactly. I, so like when we go to schools and I take a player into a school I might as well be walking in with Virgil van Dijk for them kids because they've never seen a footballer. But yeah. well, we didn't so. get that. I reckon I'll be going on the next ten. Next ten. Get warm. What position? Get warm. Anyway. So, uh, right back. You're more of a left back, mate. Yeah. On the bench. Changes. <laughs> So we just had a uh, successful meeting there I'd say, so we're here at Chester, we haven't forgot about the Chester community, we just want to give back even though we've done that free giveaway last year, we've had loads of people since then even come into the Chester store and just, we definitely want to give something back this year so we're hopefully teaming up, as you can say didn't want to give nothing away but we're here at Chester FC. Is it something you plan on doing like? in Chester, in terms of the Black Friday stuff? 100%, you know, we feel like we're really part of the community now. We feel like, um, you know, we've had a lot of support from, from the get-go. Because we started in Liverpool, we really wanted to give back there first, but now we just want to go bigger and better. So next year, let's do the both. Boss. Decent stadium, isn't it? Boss. 5,000 fans. All this on a match day would be insane. Yeah. So Hopefully they've got a big game coming up against Gunford. Are we planning on going? So we're going to we gonna go down with the lads on the coach. Can get me boss to see a little bit of inside view. Most of our community and our support comes from Chester FC and some of the fans out there. Spend the day, see what it's like in the day of the life of them rather than all about me. Flying. Other mad one. You go, I'm trying to get my years right, but I think it's further ago than the 